Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to FilipinoFlash.com. First of all, I just want to thank you guys for all the support, all the people that watched the fight, all the people that showed up, and you know, thank you guys for all the support. Now, I know you guys are boxing fans, and um, some of you guys don't really know how the the deal goes with boxing and why certain moves or certain uh, tactics are are taken in place. Um, well, first off, um, the whole thing about the weigh-ins, I weighed in at 115, um, and he weighed in at 119 and a half, which is nearly five, five pounds, and, and for little guys, that's a lot of weight. So that gave me the option to not take the, the fight. Um, a lot of people said that um, I shouldn't take the fight, he's too big, but, you know, for me, it's like I've already decided way before the fight, when I dedicated this fight, to the former uh, late president, um, uh, Corey Aquino, and um, to all the, the people that came to show. I mean, I got a bunch of guys from, from Seattle who drove 20 hours to be here, you know, to watch the fight. I got guys from San Jose who drove 10 hours, LA, San Diego, and even Hawaii. So, you know, there's a lot of people all around the United States who came through and, you know, I just couldn't disappoint them by not by by you know by taking that route um, so to me though it wasn't a question of whether the guy was bigger or not he could have been 20 pounds over and I still would have been you know I still would have decided to fight him because I was dedicated to make the fight happen it didn't matter how what weight he came in now on the day of the fight you know I weighed about 122 after eating you know, 122, 123. Now get this, from what I've heard, the guy weighed in at 133, 134, which is 10 pounds over or more. So that alone speaks for itself that I'm fighting a guy who's three division higher or, or four division higher than, than I am, which is a lot. Now, you know, as, as a lot of people don't really know, when you're fighting a guy who's, um, who's a lot bigger, they tend to take punches, they tend to be a lot tougher and they tend to be more braver because you know the size and the, the way their body is wide compared to the guy compared to my frame you know they're able to to take the punch they're able to to um, push themselves uh, in a way where they can try to bully a smaller guys and that's what he tried to do now in the first round I really had him good you know I was confident I was gonna take him out you know, I had the power to make things happen, and you know, I cut him and everything, and I hit him as hard as I can. And this guy was still winging, no matter, even though he was looking at my foot and not looking at me. I can sense that he was hurt, but he was throwing hard punches still. And, and you know, those punches were pretty heavy. So, but you know, I, I, I did, I, you know, for me, I still tried to try to take him out. But um, in the second round, you know, this happened. <laughs> so. Um, with that, you know, I'm not going to try to make an excuse, but I was limited of what I'm capable of during that fight. And I had to do certain tactics where I have to box and use my head and, and listen to my corner and see what's the best option to winning the fight and at the same time not giving up. And I will never ever give up in a fight. You know, I wanted to go in there and brawl with them as much as I can. Because every time that I did brawl with him and I hurt him, he backs out. But, um, you know, I, like I said, I was limited to that. And, and um, there was times that he did came around and, and did a few tricky moves where every time he jabbed, he'll step on my foot and hit me with the jab. Hit me with the jab because he would step on my foot before I could move my, my body. Because he knows I was going to counter him. And I wanted to make this, you know, with, 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 with my hand messed up, I wanted each each uh, punches to count you know one two three four will not make a big difference in terms of hitting them because it still hurts me as much so I wanted to make it count that's why you saw you saw one punches two punches at a time three punches at a time and not so much as, as volume punches because due to the to the decision that I made that I will make the punch count and although I heard him a few times throughout the fight you know, once again, the fact of the fight was because he was a lot heavier than I was. Well, during the decision, you know, after the the last round, 
and I wanted I wanted to brawl with him the last two rounds, but I know I was limited to making that happen. And actually, I sensed that from the ninth round on, he didn't have any more pops in his hand. So um, you know, I try to stick the jab and try to move still because that's what I was advised to do. Um, you know, after that that final bell, I wanted to just go out there and, and just make things happen. And you know, the last seconds, I wanted to just go out there and then. And brawl with him, and you know, I, I try to uh, stand my ground, but um, you know, at 10 seconds, and when the bell rang, I knew I knew I had uh, the fight. I was very confident. There was really nothing that he could do. I beat him with the jab. I beat him by points. You know, I hit him with more clear punches. You know, I mean, I I had, to me, I was very confident that that fight was mine. And um, no matter what people say about me running or whatever it is that they you know, tend to say or or they believe me to do have, to have done. I did it because it was a strategy given to me by my corner, but of course as well the limit that I have with my hand. Um, but aside from that, I was very confident that I had that was my fight, and um, I got the job done. I showed a lot of heart, and I accomplished everything that I needed to do. I dedicated the fight in respect of the former president. And, and going by her word of Laban, meaning to fight, and I fought. I didn't make any excuse about my hand, you know. I, I used different tactics, but that is to get the job done. And um, everybody was out there um, proud of me. And to me, that was, that was, that was very, uh, that was a good feeling that everybody came out there and, and you know, they showed a lot of love and a lot of uh, support for me. And, and they actually stayed after the fight uh, to take pictures and stuff like that, so it was good night overall, and uh, I'm just appreciative of everything. But um, in case you guys needed that answer uh, from me and how and why I fought that way, that is why I fought that way. Thank you guys for everything once more, and uh, keep checking Filipino Flash for updates. Thank you guys.